this Aquaman news. Let me go ahead and show y'all a little bit of clip and explain what's going on here. So Amber Heard played second fiddle to Aquaman Jason Momoa in this movie. She has been in some, what's the nicest way to put this? Larry know all the whole story. She's gotten into a bit of an intertwine with Johnny Depp. And so rumors are that they're going to kick her off the next movie and put in this young lady right here, Amelia Clark, who we all know played Khaleesi on Game of Thrones and was also worked side by side with Jason Momoa when he played Drago. Larry, I give it to you first. Would you be satisfied if they got rid of Amber Heard in place of Amelia Clark? Um, I'm okay with it. To be honest with you, the person that I would like to see instead of, um, instead of Amelia Clark in that role okay. is, um, is what's her name? Sophie Turner. The one that played, uh, Sansa Stark. You want to see her be, you want, well, she could probably do it, but you know, she's about to have a baby. So it won't be, it won't be her. Yeah, probably, I guess not, I think. But she's she's tall. She's a natural redhead. She already sort of fits that role. But I think Amelia Clark will do good in that as well. I'm 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 looking forward to seeing it. I, I, I kind of want to see her play a role that is a little bit a little bit more active, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like the role she's been playing coming out of Game of Thrones have been some of those like rom com type movies. And right. and mm -hmm. and I, I want to see her play something beyond that, you know? Right. So right. I think it'll be good. I mean, it's unfortunate that what's her name had issues with with Johnny Depp, but you know that's what happens when you go toe to toe with one of Hollywood's biggest. Sometimes you just take an L, you know. That's right. So, T. Strange, how do you feel about Aquaman two? And does it matter to you if they replace a Amber Heard? Honestly, man, I I I really Aquaman was okay for me, so it wasn't like you know like. I didn't have that wow factor behind it. So whether or not they place her, you know, replace her with the other chick is all right with me, I suppose. My biggest interest is like, what the hell do Johnny Depp got to do with the movie? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Johnny Depp don't have anything to do with the movie. No. What Johnny Depp has to do with is his feud with Amber Heard. Larry, do you want to drop the knowledge on T-Streams about what's happening with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? If I, I mean, they're, if I'm not mistaken, they were together, I think. And, That's true. And they're going through a separation, and it just got really, really ugly. Mm -hmm. And as all things happen when people get, when things go ugly, when people have money and resources, you know, you could basically just say, no, I don't want this person in this project or that project, and stuff happens, you know? And, and she put out some, some very... Um personal things that it looks like the law is going to be on Johnny's side to the point where she might do jail time. Uh. And, so, and so, you know, people are taking that into account. Personally, I'm not going to front for, from a movie perspective, I liked her in Aquaman, the first one. Um, of course, I don't think it compares to some of the, the MCU movies, of course not. But I thought for what DC has done, it was an okay movie. Um, you know, Jason Momoa is not a powerhouse, but he did fine in that movie. And I right. actually like Amber Heard a lot in that movie. I hope that they can fix things and she doesn't have to go. But man, I'm like you, Larry. I don't know about him. I, I mean, I don't know about Amelia Clark in this role. I like Amelia Clark. I'm still dissatisfied with the way Game of Thrones went off. Um, yeah. But um, she hasn't really done much. She can't really find her footing yeah. outside of Game of Thrones. Because, you know, you remember she was in Terminator, and I hated that Terminator. Yeah. The reason why I'm okay with trying to see her in something like this is because it's going to be, a, I mean, DC's putting out some of these movies. They're not, it's not like you're, it's not like you're going to throw in a Marvel movie and then she screws it up and people are pissed off because you threw, you blew up a great franchise. Mm -hmm. But this is a good opportunity for her to try and get in there and do a movie where she has to be really physical. Cause I haven't seen her in any movie where she's really physical. It's like she was riding around on her dragons. We didn't see any fight scenes really with her, you know? So it'll be interesting to see how she is. If she can fight, if she's, you know, if, if she's gonna, if she's gonna be able to, to jump and fall and do all the crap that superheroes do, 
and what how she's gonna and how it's gonna play out with her. So we'll just see. I don't know. I, I'm 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 skeptical though. I'm not sure that this is the right role for her, but I think there's a place for. Her. I I I think I would have rather seen her as a Wonder Twin. Oh, <laughs> you know? I, I, I can see that. I can see that. You know? and, for, and for those of you that wanted a little more, because I just really honestly was eating around the cookie because to talk about what's going on with Amber Heard really deserves its own segment. But Miss Chris has it up here for you. Some domestic violence issues, some releasing of some personal things, and she was the aggressor in both situations. Right. But, but I mean, when you look at Johnny Depp, beta male looking ass, wouldn't you think that the redhead woman would be the aggressor? I know I would. I mean, I, I, I see. I, I, this is the thing. I'm not sure that he's. I'm not sure that he's a beta male. I think that I think people like Johnny Depp are so. They're so like on a different plane on something. I know you ain't about to put him on the same level as Prince. I know you ain't about to put him and Prince on the same level. I wasn't, but since you brought Prince up, Prince was definitely an alpha male. He did definitely. his whole, he definitely, definitely did his, his whole androgynous thing. And, yeah. and Johnny Depp does that sort of same thing that he does because he can, because he's, I think because he is so much of an alpha male that he can do that. And no one's gonna question his sexuality. I don't think any woman's gonna walk into a room with Johnny Depp and wonder, does he want me or does he want the dude next to me? I think everybody knows that that if he walks into a room, he can take whatever draws he wants. Well, obviously you know? he obviously he can't take Amber Heard. She thought well, differently. <laughs> well, she's probably mad because he probably got over, you know, whatever she was throwing, he probably got over. It was like I had enough. And she was probably upset. Just like people say, someone catches feelings and you don't catch them back. All of a sudden now that people start accusing you of stuff and 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 getting mad. Women women do not take kindly to men when they don't catch those feelings back. They they just assume that if they're throwing it to you, that you should be willing to take it. And not everybody wants to take your cookies. 